Ciao friends! I want to show you how to read the vertical canalizer information provided in Duck Studio. In this example, I have uh, the vertical canalizer data I obtain with either view matrix connected to a data model or import matrix. And here we have this information that can help me understanding where I'm spending the memory for my data in the model. You see that the first visualization shows for each table a number of information. And uh, let's try to explore, for example, the table sales. For each column of the table sales, we have one row. And in each row, we have uh, the most important information that is the column size. So the column size at the table level is the sum of all the columns. Uh, and for each column, it provides me how many bytes I'm spending in memory to store the data of that column. As you see, we have, in order, we have the order number column in sales that is the biggest uh, column for the entire table. And we can immediately notice that uh, the size of a column does not necessarily depend uh, on the, the size of the table, the number of rows of the table. Indeed, we have very different sizes of the column within the same table. The number of rows of the table is the same, but the size of each column is different. Why? It could be complex. There are many details. And the uh, vertical analyzer provides uh, many information about this. For example, the cardinality column is the number of rows of the table when it is displayed at the table level, whereas for each column, it provides me the information about uh, how many unique values I have in each column. And the column size depend on several factors. One of those is the number of unique values in the column. So there is a strict correlation usually between the two numbers. Then there are many other details. For example, we had the data, the dictionary, the hierarchy size. Now, if we go too deeper in this information, we need more details. And for example, we have an entire chapter in the Definitive Guide to DAX explaining what is the meaning of the DAX Studio metrics. Just look for information about the Vertipack Analyzer. The reason why this tool is called Vertipack Analyzer is because the engine of uh, Power BI used to store the data in memory is called Vertipack. Now, we have other tabs like uh, the columns, uh, which is useful because uh, here we have a visualization where instead of grouping uh, the columns by table, we see a single flat list of columns. And so it's easy to sort these columns by column size, which is the default sort order. But of course, you can sort uh, the data by any of these columns. This way, we can immediately identify the more expensive column in the entire model, regardless of the table, which is the initial part of the column name. Then, in the relationships, we have another interesting information, which is the cardinality of each relationship we have in the model. The cardinality is very important because a very large relationship, one million of unique values or more, that you will find here in max2 or max from cardinality, identifies a relationship that could be very expensive and slow down all of your queries. And finally, in summary, we have just a recap of uh, a few information about the number of tables, columns, and the total size of the entire model. So by using a vertical analyzer, you can easily identify the more expensive uh, uh, columns or tables of your model. And if you can uh, avoid to import that data, you can certainly save space in your model. Enjoy DAX.